this lesson we are going to learn about some different three-dimensional figures. So first of all, there's kind of two classifications. There are prisms and pyramids. In a prism, there are two bases. And in a pyramid, there's only one base. And in a prism, the remaining faces are rectangles. And in a pyramid, the remaining faces are triangles. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch some pictures so you can actually see what these would look like. So a prism would be um, kind of like this. Oh, and that's a really, that's not a very good picture, but we'll try to do our best to make this work here. So it looks like that. Okay, and um, to show you, so the, the two bases, this would be a base and this would be a base. And the bases are parallel to each other and they're the exact same size and shape. And the remaining faces would be the sides, like these sides around the outside. Like that side and this side. And then there's a side in the back and then there's another one on the, on the side here. Alright, for a pyramid, a pyramid looks kind of like this. So you can see that the base is in this picture is a square and the remaining faces again are triangles. So there's triangles on the outside here. So on this one there are four remaining faces. A cone, just to give you an image, is it has one circular base and then it comes to a point at the top. So it's kind of more similar to a pyramid than a prism, but it's really kind of its own classification. And cylinders have two bases, so they're a little bit more similar to pr prisms. It's naming some of these figures. So this says for each figure, describe the base and name the figure. So what we're going to do in each figure is we're going to trace the base. So the base here is a rectangle. And to name the figure, what you do is you take the name of the base. So this is a rectangular. And then decide if it's a prism or a pyramid. And this one has two parallel bases. So this is a prism. And you can see the remaining faces around the outside are rectangles. All right, and number five, if I trace the base, it has five sides, so it's a pentagon. So this figure is a pentagonal. And since it only has one base, it's a pyramid. And you can see that the shapes around the outside are triangles. All right, and the next figure, the shape of the base is a circle. And we just call this figure a cone. And number seven, the shape of the base has six sides. So that's a hexagon. So this is a hexagonal prism because there are two bases. And again, the remaining faces are rectangles. In number eight, the base is a triangle. So this is a triangular prism because there are two bases and the remaining faces are rectangles. And in the last one here, the shape of the base is a square. And so this is a square pyramid. Because the remaining faces are rectangles, or excuse me, are triangles. What we're going to look at is 
um, how do you name a space figure from the net? So in this figure, here you can see that our two bases, the two bases that are going to be the same in parallel are squares. So this is going to be a square, and the remaining faces are rectangles, so this is a square prism. In number two, in the middle, you can see the base here has six sides, so this is a hexagonal. And since there's only one base, this is going to be a pyramid. And again, the remaining faces are triangles. And in our last picture, you can see these are the bases here on the sides. They would be parallel and the same, same size and shape. And they have five sides, so that's a pentagon. So this is a pentagonal. And the remaining faces are rectangles, and there's two bases, so this is a prism. So this is a pentagonal prism. So there, those are some examples of how to name and classify three-dimensional figures.